welcome back to Dee's Kitchen and today we have a special visitor and he's not a visitor, he's a special chef and his name is... Dale Lyman. Yeah, and today we'll be cooking a very yummy dish and it's with nice veggies and... yeah, veggies. Wow, so you want Chef Dave to explain what he got, do you? Yeah, and what's the dish we're making? So the dish today, we're going to be cooking chicken lab. So lab is like a Thai-inspired or Thai-style chicken mince. Yeah. It could be done with chicken or pork, uh, even seafood, and even yeah. maybe mushrooms if you want to do vegetarian. Yeah. But we're going to get the chicken mince, we're going to cook it off, we're going to flavour it with some ginger, some oh. garlic, some chilli, some mint, some lime, yeah. lots of fish sauce, so that sweet, sour, salty spice, mm -hmm. so those beautiful Southeast Asian flavours. And then we're going to put it into a lettuce cup so you could have it as a little snack. Yeah. And we're also going to make a beautiful wombok salad, another sort of Southeast Asian inspired uh, salad. Okay. And that will have the similar flavours, sweet, sour, salty spice. Yeah. Wow, I think before uh, Chef Dan goes to the ingredients and explain yeah. how he's going to cook and the process of it, yeah. let me tell you about Chef Dan a little bit about it. Chef Dale and myself, I think we know for many, many years. Long you know, time, then. Long yeah. time, and we've been cooking uh, uh, together. We cook together in William Angus Institute. And Chef Dale is working at William Angus Institute for a very long time. A specialized teacher, very, very experienced chef, and very much involved with the development of young, young cooks. And uh, thank you, Dale, for coming down uh, and giving your time, yeah. teaching these young kids and giving a message to the, all the young kids out there and the parents that you know there are people like Dale in the industry who gives their time uh, and put a lot of efforts to educate uh, kids in public, in society, as well as in the institute. Uh, thank you, Dale. Yeah. And um, let's go through the ingredients. So, yeah, can you help us what you so have here? we've got for the ingredients are, we've got some peas, Snow peas, yeah? Yeah, what has eight peas, peas inside. Yeah. And tomato, lemon, I like lemon. Yeah, it's lime, yeah? Yeah, lime. Mm -hmm. um, more lime, some onion, what I also like. <laughs> um, and we've got some capsicum. And we've got some warm. Bob, well done. <laughs> and we've got some... Daikong? Yeah, daikong. Yes. And we've got more. Oh, and we've got some more capsicum. So we've got green and red capsicum. And we've got more. So you go this way. Okay, so Chef Dan, you want to go through? Yeah, so this is what we're going to use for our salad. Uh, so when we've made our lard, we're going to top it with beautiful, or top this beautiful salad with the lard. Yeah, so this is cut in julienne. This one is actually bean shoot, and that's the way it comes. So before it becomes a bean, it's like a shoot and it grows. This one is julienne, yes, you're exactly right. And I was saying before that we're gonna to have to give Dia her certificate for a chef certificate as soon as she walks in the door at really Mango, because she knows so much already. So we've got some julienne tomato, julienne capsicum, julienne carrot, the daikon. We've got, do you know what that one is? The terminology, the chiffonade. Chiffonade means uh, shredded. And we've got some chopped um, cashew nuts, beautiful herbs for my garden. So tomatoes, so that's uh, I mint. This. I miss that. That's the capsicum and the onion. Yeah. And we've got some coriander, and mint, and some Thai basil as well from my and garden. And what's this? Um, the snow peas. Yeah, the snow peas oh. all oh. chopped up. This, it looks like sort of refreshing, oh. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So now let's one over get. There. Oh. Okay. And it would be this one, the dressing. Oh uh, yeah. So. Ah, now I'm going to put that one back down there. And this one is fish sauce, and I want you to smell this one. First time you've ever smelt it. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Is it a good smell? Is it a good bit of oh. <laughs> bit of shrimps as well, like sort of. Yeah, so it's made of anchovies and it, and shrimps maybe, it's and it's just all fermented. Is it made of fish? Fish. That yeah. one. It's really strong. Yeah, really so strong. With the fish. Yeah. Mm. So we use a little bit and uh, not too strong and then we've got some sesame oil mm. which does have a you know, yummy smell as well oh, that's mm. strong as well yeah and for that one 
we're just going to put some that's brown this. sugar and that's a dressing already made. Yeah. Oh. So basically, yeah. basically you're going to beat it up and that's just how yeah. I'm going to be. So I got some... Chili, more chili, chili. chili. yeah. Some and brown sugar, yeah. yeah. So, so you got the sweet, sour, spicy, you know, it's going to be really, really good. Sour. So what do you got here, Chef? So in this one, we've got some chicken mince, mm -hmm. uh, some nice lean chicken mince. Like I said, you could do it with pork, uh, but we're going to do it nice and light, sort of summery, fresh sort of salad and food today. We've got the spring onions chopped up or just sliced up, some beautiful lime. We're going to flavour it with the ginger and the garlic, the chilli, the mint, sugar, some lime juice. So our sweet, sour, mm. the salty is the fish sauce and the spices. It's going to taste sourish. It's going to be really balanced and you're going to have all of those flavours together. So the sweet, sour, salty, spice, all together just to make one big explosion. Mm. Okay, so let's get started. Indeed. All right, so do you reckon, you know, uh, do you... don't have enough space for you. So, no? you don't have enough space, so what should I do? Go. Go where? Go. You don't want me in the kitchen? Mm. Oh no, but how can but I taste? You can come back at the end. All right, so I'm gonna come back in the end. All right, yeah. all right. So thank you so much for kicking me out. <laughs> all right, and I will see you after that. Huh? Right. All right, guys. So I leave it up to you. I think you are under good supervision. Eh? Right. You think so? Yeah. All right. See you then. Bye. Bye, bye. So now it's time to make the lab. Yes. So we have the that is already there. Yeah. So what so we we'll turn it on a little bit more. So what Let's put the oil in first. Oil yeah, all of that oil, so it's a little bit of peanut oil, about 40 mils. Yeah. And then what? So we're going to put the ginger. All of it. All of that, yep. Wow, that's a lot of Oh. And then we're going to put the garlic. Maybe I'll do that one, yeah. And the chilli. And don't forget to be safety. You know, for children, no nice. Yeah. Well, only if there's people about, parents around me. And be away from the fire. Now you can, I'll give that a little spit of a stir because it's starting to spit. Yeah. So we'll push that off of there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll get the chicken in there so that the... You put the other one. Her, pardon? Okay. Pop the chicken in there. That's going to slow the heat down a bit. So now we're a bit safer. Okay. Now we have to mix it. Now we have to mix it, yeah. yeah. And we don't want to burn the ginger and the garlic. Yeah. Now I explained to you the microphone, didn't I? That the yeah. grater. Did you want to have a go at yeah. grating some ginger? Yeah. We're just going to why this is in the pan. Start yeah. breaking it up. Yeah. It's cooking a lot slower now. That's better. But this way. Yeah, that way. And you need to watch your fingertips. And what you need to do is go all the way down the grater wow. or the yeah. microphone. That's it. And then show the camera what's underneath, hopefully. <laughs> oh, there is coming. Yeah, there we go. Let's put it in there. Scrape it off with the spoon into our oh, lab. With a spoon. All right, so, and thank you for inviting me into your home. It's okay. And your kitchen, Dee's kitchen. This is a great pleasure yeah, for me to be cooking you lunch. And if you want to check on our website, then you can go on Dee's kitchen. Yes, please. Yep. All of it. All of it. Yes, okay. please. Yep. And then we're gonna put some of the mint. Chopped mint. Yeah. Beautiful. It's nice when it's all greenish. When it like it's a nice. Thing. Yeah, that's more the lime. lime. Yeah, that oh, can wow. go and in as do. well. I like sour things. And then what's next? Now this is the sugar. What? Let's not put all of it in. Let's put about three quarters, and we'll taste it. That'll do. Stop oh. there. Yep. <gasps> And we'll taste that and we'll see what it's like. Yeah, that's too now, I want you to put about a teaspoon. That's really good. I know. A teaspoon is my And maybe I'll just do it here just in case. Yeah, good idea. And while you're doing that, Daddy, I'm just going to mix the corn flour with the water. Okay. So, we put a little bit more in and then we'll taste it. So, the, the trick. 
Well, the secret to this sort of Southeast Asian cooking mm -hmm. is you want to get the spice and the salt and the sweetness all balanced, yeah? yeah? So you don't want it to taste too salty, the fish sauce, and you don't want it to taste too sweet. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add a little bit, little bit, taste so it, and some more. So what are we going to do in this? Oh, that's an extra piece. We're not going to do anything. We already put some garlic in there. Can you get that a stir for me? Sure. Thank you. I can do that. Thank you. And then... Excellent. I'm going to add this in, and this is just going to hopefully make it all nice and shiny. Yeah, is it getting shiny? Yep, it is getting shiny. That's good. And then after, we're going to taste it? Indeed. That's the best part, isn't it? Yes, it is. Alright, we'll put a little mm -hmm. bit more. I think that's about enough. Wow, that's a lot we made. Yeah, so I know. Much. That's so much. Do you think it's going to fit in the bowl? Yeah, easy. Looks Look like at that. That's brilliant. That looks pretty good. Now it's Alright. Oh, that's the hot. Hmm. Let's go. So now it's time to cut our vegetables into juliettes, right? That's it. Now, before we do that, there, what did we do here to so finish we, that off? We put in the bowl and we put a bit of salt mm -hmm. and black salt. So. And we put a bit of white pepper. Yes. And then, was it a bit sweet? Yeah. yeah, so what do we have to do? We have to put a bit more of the fish sauce, yeah, yeah. and the a little bit more lime, yeah, yeah. a little bit of lime. To so we balanced out, and what did it taste like? It tastes really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, so now we're going to cut the vegetables. So we've got the julienne. Now I'm going to show you how to do julienne. You know how to do it, yeah. but we're going to go through it again. Now. The safest thing to do is make a bit of carrot square so that it doesn't rock around. See that? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's and like, then. It's like a carrot. Shape. Yeah, we eat these bits later on. You know? <laughs> and then we need to make the claw with our fingers. Oh, yeah. yeah. You have to do a claw so we don't cut it. That's it. And then we're just going to cut through and make the little slices. And then each slice we're going to then cut into Julianne, remembering your claw. And then you've got beautiful little julienne, yeah? Look at that, easy. Nice. Yeah? The other one was the tomato. But what we're going to do here is we just cut there. Yeah. Then I put my finger on the top and on the back. And oh, then, yeah, so, like so if I do slip, it's gonna slip underneath my finger, yeah? Yeah, and so it won't cut your finger. Won't cut my finger. So I'm just gonna- And then we can just cut these into strips. Yeah. A little bit bigger than julienne, otherwise they might start to fall apart. Yeah, so we just make up julienne. Yeah, you're doing a great job there. That's brilliant. Now, do you want me to show you how to do the onion? Sure. So if I cut the onion this way, mm -hmm. I've got little pieces, big pieces. Yeah, so is that what I want in my up. salad? No. No. So what we can do is we can turn it around. So that was the root end. And that was the sprout end. Yeah. yeah. And we've cut those off and then we cut from the side into the center oh, yes. and a slice and then our onion do you want me to show you the cheeks way to do julia sure. i'll show you get rid of this and then you can show me and then i can do it this is called a uh, mandolin or a japanese style cutter some people might know it as a all right so we've had some pickled no ginger and that's what you might put on sushi yeah, yeah. So we'll put that in. So that's it's good. Like making sushi. Got a little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, we're going to put our carrot in. Our, uh, what's that one? Remember? Daikon? Daikon. Yeah, that's the daikon. Some more wombok. wombok. Yeah. Wombok. Beautiful. Wombok. Yeah. Some... We're not going to put that in. Okay. Uh, we're going to go around capsicum. here. Capsicum. Some tomatoes. Tomatoes. Some zucchini. Mm, cucumber. Bean shoots. Bean shoots. Bean shoots, yep. And some. Okay, snow peas. Snow peas yep. And, some and just. Coriander. Yep. Not that yet. We're going to put that one on the top. And then we mix it. Yep. Now, with our herbs, mm -hmm. what we need to do, and I just need, before you mix it, Be go through them. and pick them a little bit. Just break them down so that we're not uh, chomping into big pieces of herb. Oh, All right, so now we're going to put our dressing in. Yummy, I can't wait. Looks you want to mix good. it for me? Sure, I'm going to have got my glove on. Yeah. So I'm going to mix okay. it with my fingers, yep. Yeah. So now it's time for the playing part. So 
Excellent. Dear, what we're going to do is we're going to spoon some of this lard into the cos lettuce cups, yeah? Now these could be eaten at a barbecue, just hand around to your friends, light lunch, whatever. So let's have a, should we have a race or should we do it nice and neat? Nice and neat. Oh, beautiful. Does it really matter if it spills? Well, it's going to be a little bit difficult to pick it up if it spills, isn't it? So you really just need... A little bit. A little bit. That and it's do. good always to have lucky out. Bit of coriander. Bit you of put, I think it's got plenty of nuts on it now. Yes. We've got our salad, yeah, and we're going to make one each, aren't we? Yeah. And we're going to have a competition to see whose <laughs> is the best. <laughs> I think yours might be. All right. So I've just mixed that through again yeah. to make sure that it's all mixed up and the dressing's not sitting at the bottom. Yeah. We might put a little bit of nuts through that as well. And you can start mixing, yep. Put it into our fingers and lift it up. So I'm just going to do it my way. Oh, okay, you do it your way. And I'll get some nice height in here. Let's see who does the rest. Okay, we're around the outside. I'll put it give you the lab as well, don't I? Yeah. There we go, I'm hogging the lab. Not really. And I'm going to put a touch on top of the rock, a few nuts. Um, what are the nuts for apart from tasting yummy? Do you put a bit of crunch in the salad? Yeah. Yeah? Before, I still rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, yeah? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, you win. <laughs> Now what are we going to do? Taste test. So now it's time for the taste test, but I think we're missing someone. Do you we want? are missing someone. Are we missing Adam, who's my son, who was working behind the and scenes? And my daddy. And your dad. And my mommy. Yeah. So All right, somebody's calling us, Adam. Let's go. Come on in. Let's have a taste. Let's see. Come on. All our work worked out. Let's okay. Oh, look at this. Oh. Wow. I'm going to jump in first. Look at the attacks. Yeah. I'm gonna try the salad. Thank it you. looks really, really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Spicy. Mm -hmm. Sour. Mm -hmm. Sour, yeah. And good. And good. Mm. I can feel the crunch of the nuts. Mm. It goes ah. very well, isn't it? Yeah. Adam, what do you think? It has tons of flavour. I like that because it's, it's more fresh and then I like this because it has a bit more crunch and mm -hmm. it's a bit easy to have on the go, you know? Isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Good for snacks. Mm. Refreshing, mm. you know? As a salad for snacks. Well, you did a great job, DD. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment so then you don't miss any other videos. Bye! Bye! Before I say bye, we have Thank to... you. Dale for coming and cooking with us. Thank you for having me in your house, dear. It's been really fun. It was a great time. Well, it was really fun. Even, even I think everyone enjoyed it. Yeah. Adam, thank you. Chef Dale. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Bye. much, Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. See you next time. See you.